Now, my uh, third option for you, especially those who want to continue with further education after finishing their diploma or their higher diploma, is to pursue a degree in education. Mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, and uh, automotive engineering, water engineering. You can pursue a Bachelor of Education degree, or it's called Bachelor of Technology Education degree. There is a Bachelor of Education Technology degree in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Personally, this is the degree I pursued in the uh, uh, University of Edwards, and I later got to be employed in, uh, as a trainer in one of the teacher institutions. So later I did a Bachelor of Science degree at Technical University of Mombasa. Uh, there is also a Bachelor of Education Technology degree in Mechanical Engineering, there is a Bachelor of Education Technology degree in uh, Building and Construction and Civil Engineering. So this degree will help you to get employment in one of the TZ institutions. And remember I said TZ institutions are uh, the National Polytechnic, there are eight of them in Kenya. There is a Technical Training Institute, quite a number. There is Institute of Science and Technology, there is Technical Vocational Center, all these institutes, they are around 150 institutes, so there is quite a considerable number of job opportunities. So my option about three, we have talked about pursuing a Bachelor of Education degree. And uh, some of the universities that offer Bachelor of Education courses is Dedan Kimadi University of Technology. And as we can see here, they have uh, stated their mandate for Bachelor of Technology courses. And some of the Bachelor of Education courses they offer are Bachelor of Education Technology in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Education Technology in uh, Mechanical Engineering, and Bachelor of Education Technology in uh, Electrical and uh, Electronic Engineering. And for you to be eligible to join this course, you either have you either need to have scored a mean grade of C plus with C plus in Mathematics in Physics in your high school and also chemistry or alternatively you need to be a holder of a corresponding diploma uh, course that is if you want to pursue bachelor of education in mechanical engineering for example you have to have a diploma in mechanical engineering and this course is offered at their main campus another university that offers bachelor of education courses that is bachelor of education technology is a um, Mary university and they offer a bachelor of education technology in civil engineering, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering as we can see here and for you to be eligible to join the course you either have the required grade in your KCSE that is a mini grade of C plus with C plus in uh, mathematics, physics and chemistry or alternatively you should have uh, the corresponding diploma for the course that you want to pursue for example, if you want to pursue a Bachelor of Education Technology in Mechanical Engineering, you need to have at least a Diploma in Mechanical Engineering or Automotive Engineering. Again, the school fees is the same. It is 45000 per semester as the uh, Bachelor of Technology courses. Masida Molido University of Science and Technology offers Bachelor of uh, Education Technology courses. Here you can see they have Bachelor of Education Technology courses in Civil, Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. By the way, I have uh, not mentioned, here you can see periods, and this period, they are part of the Nyao Tizon. Uh, Nyao Tizon is a government for a structure that was established in 1986, and it formed a Baba zone between the community rad, those trees over there, they in the community rad, that is private rad owned by the video. This is a Nyao Tizon, and light on this side, uh, on the other side of the electric fence, there is the government owned land, which is the, uh, the metal forest, coming all the way from Kenya. But now the only disadvantage, see I'm trying to give you the advantages and the disadvantages, so that you can uh, really choose what is the best for you. So the channel, this channel is about giving you all the information, so that you can decide what is the best for you. And not only the only, but the only one that I can give you, probably there are some more, is that when you pursue your Bachelor of Education degree, now you'll be limited to that uh, area. Like, 
because they are in the industry, they want you to be registered either as a technologist or an engineer. But now, because you did a bachelor of education degree, probably you'll be registered as a trainer or a teacher. You can be registered as a teacher, a trainer, or a lecturer. Especially in teaching technical institutes, you can be registered by the TVET authority as a trainer in the TVET institute. So you are limited in that. You are, uh, your potential job market mostly will be in the teaching sector. As opposed to doing uh, another degree whereby you have opportunities in other areas beyond teaching sector. But I'm not saying you are really limited because I've seen many people who pursued a bachelor of education degree, they went to industry, some of them went to the banking sector, but when it comes to employability in other government for a start uh, you mostly be required to have other certification by engineering bodies. So our uh, option number four is you choosing to pursue a bachelor of technology degree. And uh, this for a person who is coming directly from high school, it usually takes four years. But for a person who is joining from a diploma level, you most likely join from a second year depending on the university, such that you do your second year, third year, and fourth year, which will take you a total of three years. But for a person who have a higher national diploma, most likely depending on the university, you join from your third year, such that you do your third year and your fourth year. For the Bachelor of Technology degree, you'll be registered as a technologist and mostly the technologist is a person who does the uh, the technical work in the industry. This is contrary to the Bachelor of Science degree where will be registered as an engineer and mostly the work of the engineer is to design. Now for the Bachelor of Technology degree, you can pursue this in a uh, university like uh, Technical University of Mombasa, that is two, Technical University of Kenya, that is two, Masidamori University, Meru University, among many other universities. The only disadvantage of this degree is mostly you will not be registrable as an engineer, which some of the parastatals in Kenya is a requirement. There are some institutions in Kenya that require you to be registrable as an engineer so that you can be eligible for employment. Very University of Science and Technology, they offer a Bachelor of Technology degrees. They have a Bachelor of uh, Technology degree in Electrical Engineering and Bachelor of Technology degree in uh, Civil Engineering and the school fees is uh, much lower that is for 5,000 uh, Kenya shillings per semester and always remember to leave your question in my YouTube channel comment that's why I usually regularly check for your comments and that's why I'm most likely to answer your questions as soon as I can now I want us to discuss a very last option that you can consider after either you are done with your diploma or your higher diploma which is pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree for a person who is coming direct from high school a Bachelor of Science degree will usually take them five years and by the way one of the differences in Bachelor of Science degree and Bachelor of Technology degree is that the Bachelor of Science degree requires a high intake point as opposed to Bachelor of Technology degree the other main difference between Bachelor of Technology and Bachelor of Science degree is that the Bachelor of Technology will be just, the Bachelor of Technology will be registered as a technologist and the Bachelor of Science degree will be registered as an engineer. Now for the Bachelor of Technology degree you have said if you come direct from high school it takes you five years. And if you are coming from your diploma, you most likely you return from your second year. Depending on the investor, which means you do your second year, third year, fourth year, and fifth year, four more years after your diploma. If you are coming from your higher diploma, most likely you join from the third year, which means you do your third year, fourth year, and fifth year to attain your Bachelor of Science degree so that you can be registered as an engineer. And for the investors offering a Bachelor of Science degree, they are relatively more expensive as compared to the Bachelor of Technology degree. So, if finances is a factor for you to consider, then I would opt you to go for the Bachelor of Technology degree because Bachelor of Science degree is usually more expensive. As we have said, you have an option of pursuing a Bachelor of Science course or a Bachelor of Technology course. And if you check the website for Jomo Kenyatta University of Science and Technology, 
we can see even with a neck diploma or a higher diploma you are still eligible to join the bachelor of science program though the bachelor of science program as we have mentioned takes much longer and the school fees is usually much higher for example for jomo kenyatta university of science and technology the school fees is uh, 118000 per semester which is quite high considering that if you have just finished your diploma you may not have uh, that money at your disposal so those are the five options that i wanted us to discuss always choose the option that is most workable for you these are this is not about the competition for who get the best but it's always about you getting what is most workable for you and what can achieve you the best results i've been here several times and usually elephants usually come to graze loud here and to take water by then what do you think about my new style of videos is it cool when i stay in the office uh, creating content for you or is it cool when i walk around in the nature creating video for you and i believe i've not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next videos so keep working hard and keep believing in your dreams